What's up everybody? It's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. It is November and today we are getting ready using my Ipsy November Glam Bag. I have been signed up with Ipsy since 2015 so I've been getting a glam bag every month for two years now I would say. I love Ipsy. $10 a month. You get five products. Not full size. Not always full size. But you get five products based on your profile that you fill out or the survey that you fill out when you sign up and then you can update your profile whenever you want based on your preferences and if things change, whatever, you are able to update it all the time. The best thing about Ipsy is that when you do get your glam bag, you can review the product. If you're receiving something that you don't really like, you can give it a low score. You most likely will not get that type of product in the future. You do sign up for Ipsy, make sure that you review the products, you review the bag because the more that you do that, the more you will be, be able to get products that you actually enjoy using. It is worth your while to be paying $10 a month to get products that you don't necessarily get to pick, if that makes sense. If you're not signed up for Ipsy yet, I will leave a link down below. Make sure you click that link and sign up. I think it's just a great subscription to have. You are able to try new products, maybe products that you wouldn't normally do, like today I'm trying products that I normally don't ever use, but I'm trying them because I got them in my bag, and you never know, you could be surprised in something that you think that you don't really like, you will end up liking a lot. With that said, let's start showing you the products that we got. So this is the bag. Now the color of the bag is okay, I love the gold part, now the mustard part, I'm just not the biggest fan of it, but you know, whatever. It's basically a free bag. Comes with their little card for the theme of the month. First product we have is a highlighter and this is from Teeny Beauty or something like that. If I get the names wrong you guys, I will leave all the products down below and the brand in the description box in case I mess things up because I tend to do that often. Okay, it's like a highlighter stick, it's more like a lavender sheer type color. Next up we have Benefit Cosmetics, their Real Mascara. I'll say it did come in the little box package. I will just have to be honest with you guys, I did film last week using these products and I accidentally just deleted all the footage and so I had to redo this video. And I couldn't find what I did with the box packaging, so here we are. We have a Tarte blush in the color Feisty. Then we have a blush brush from Crown Brush. Lastly we have a Berry Lip Fit from Skin Iceland. I think it's time for you guys to get ready with me as I try my new products and my Ipsy November Glam Bag. Let's get into it. We have my eyeshadow on. We have my foundation. I just put some concealer on. I'm not setting my concealer yet because I want to try out the stick highlighter first before I set and put some powder on my face because we don't want anything being super weird. So first I am just going to get some on my finger and see if that does anything. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, it's giving it a subtle glow. I do know that I would never just use this for my highlighter. If you've been watching my videos, you know I really love a blinding highlight, so I think this will just end up being like a base for any highlighter that I put on. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. Just put this on and then put some powder highlighter on top. See if it gives it more of a illuminating effect. I can't really tell like if you can see anything. Should I try the Beauty Blender? Okay, I don't really know if it did anything. Let's put some regular highlighter on. So I'm just going in with Dose of Colors, Desi X Katie Highlighter in Fuego. Nothing too crazy. I probably won't use this product very often. And I just don't think it really is doing anything for me. Now we are going to use the crown brush that we got in the bag, the blush brush. We are going to open up this tart blush, just like that, and we're just going to get some on my cheekbones. Now I personally like more of a, this is like a dense brush, I personally like more of a fluffy brush for my blush, or an angled fluffy brush. I would use this brush more for like my contour. 
I'm not liking how it's going on my face with using that brush, so I'm just going to use like, my go-to blush brush that I use. Yes, that's going on there so much better. I'm going to use that brush for my bronzer today since I haven't even put any bronzer on. You can really tell I'm going to have to go back in with some highlighter at the end because this is just not blinding enough for me, okay? All right, so we're going to use this for some bronzer and see if that works a little bit better. Today I'm using Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil. Now that that's done, I am going to finish my under eyes off the of camera and then we will be back to use the last two products in the back. Alright guys, eyes are done. Now we are ready for some mascara. So of course we're using the Benefit Cosmetics Their Real Mascara. I think I will still prefer my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara for the sake of the video. Let's use this mascara. Oh, you guys see that mascara that just flew on my damn face? So we need to let that mascara that flew on my face dry as well as the mascara before I can put mascara on my bottom lashes so we're gonna put my lipstick on today I'm using the Tarte lip paint in bling I've been using this quite often recently now I'm just gonna take a spoolie and try to oh there we go very easy <laughs> Alright, so let's get these bottom lashes on and call it a day. We have our lipstick on and dry, ready for our last product. So we're just going to put a little bit of this on top of my lipstick and see what kind of shine it gives it. I think I'm just going to put it on my finger. Okay, what I do like about this is that it didn't really take any, I mean it took a little bit off. I figured it was going to take some lipstick off for sure. It gives a little bit of shine, I'm feeling like a cooling sensation, so will I use this that often? Probably not. I don't really do like lip balms, things like that, but we're trying it out because we got it in our bag. So final thoughts on this November Ipsy Glam Bag. Overall, I think it was a good bag. What I like most about this bag this month is that I was able to use every single thing on my face. Even though I might not use all of these products all the time, I'm glad that I was able to at least use them for a full look. I think my favorite product out of everything that I got is definitely going to be the Tarte blush mainly because I don't have any of the Tarte individual blushes and I've been thinking about getting them but do I really want to spend $30 on a blush and just one blush not really so I'm really glad that I finally got one of these this mascara it's looking okay I'm definitely gonna have to curl my lashes so I can get some more volume and length with them overall it's not a bad mascara whatsoever I do already have my favorite which is the Tarte lights camera lashes mascara no. it'll come in handy I definitely like it for my bottom lashes more so my top lashes because I need some more volume some more fullness in my lashes and I feel like the Tarte mascara does that for me not necessarily this one but I do like how my bottom lashes are looking now this crown brush I have to say I'm kind of disappointed it's supposed to be a blush brush but I feel like it's too dense for a blush brush I like a more fluffy blush brush and I feel like it really wasn't putting the color of the blush on my skin until I used my other blush brush that I used uh, that I used Use more so every single day I did use it to do like my contour and my cheekbones like that so that worked out well um, on my forehead it was it worked out well but as far as using it for blush I definitely will not use it for blush I will more so just use it for my bronzer and contour I love getting brushes in my ipsy glam bags so they just add to my collection and I feel like you can never have enough blushes right somebody agree with me
Lastly, this highlighter, a little disappointing with this one as well. I probably won't ever use this product again, just to be quite honest with you guys. I'm not really going to hold anything back from you. It just doesn't do what I want with my highlight. I love a blinding highlight. I just felt like this was added to the process and I could have it totally could have been skipped and I would get the same effect with my highlighter than I normally would. Gravitate more toward the powder highlighters rather than the stick or maybe the color is just too sheer for me. Sadly, I will not be picking this up again to use it anytime in the near future. At least that's what I'm thinking right now. So when I go on to review my bag on Ipsy's app, I will probably give it four stars just because I was happy that I was able to use all the products on my face on one look. So that was really cool. I've never been able to do that. If you enjoyed watching me use new products from my Ipsy Glam Bag, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me which items did you like the most or which items did you not really like. Just let me know down below. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!